Hello YouTube, my name's Andy and I always say if it ain't broke you might as well try and find out how it works. Well I was going to make a little video that is a comparison of this with my Boss BR800 but I've distracted myself with something. I've been trying to recreate that tone that Brian May makes, Brian May from Queen makes, and I've completely failed, uh, except that there is something about the setup I've got here which um, is closer than I've ever got before. I mean, we've got sort of... What I've got is the guitar going into the micro BR. It's coming out of the line and headphone out jack and it's going into the line in on the back of the BR800 and the um, input for uh, a recording is line on there. So let me tell you about the history of this thing. I was buying strings for my acoustic guitar in a guitar shop in Ripley in Surrey and I saw it and I asked the guy what it was, he's, he's, he, he described it to me and I thought, hey, that's kind of cool. It's like an iPod that you can record onto. So I just bought it. I just went, okay, I'm having that. Looks like a fun thing to have. And uh, because I only had an acoustic guitar, I also bought um, an electric pickup that I could fit into the sound hole of the, the acoustic guitar. When I got it home, I was amazed, absolutely amazed. It's a four track digital recording studio which also has built-in effects that you could overlay and a drummer an el electric drum kit thing that you could you could assemble to get absolutely brilliant I could use my acoustic guitar as an electric guitar I could use my acoustic guitar as a bass guitar and I could use my acoustic guitar as an acoustic guitar I can't use this as a an audio interface to the computer. Um, it's only got four mono tracks or two stereo tracks. Um, it's got a mono microphone. It's not bad, but it's only mono uh, built in. Um, all of the rhythm patterns are in 4-4 four, four time. And there's absolutely no way of creating anything in any other sort of time signature. And the mastering process is a bit clunky. The thing that really stopped me using this was indeed the mastering process. I kept on trying to export files as mp3 or wav files and and i kept on getting this drive busy error and i kept on replacing the sd cards it just would not reliably export after mastering um, and finally the power supply unit cracked in in half and uh, the replacement that i bought from amazon um, doesn't kind of fit the, the the socket very nicely there's one thing the micro br does better than the BR800 and that's this mp3 mode you can play things at um, any fraction of their original speed so this is Johnny B. Good, Chuck Berry and I can play it at whatever fraction of the original speed I want which is incredibly useful I, I never really looked in detail at mod modifying the effect patches or doing anything um, with this micro BR before I'd replaced it with a BR800 but um, there's one feature here location it's possible to record dry or, or apply the effect patch to um, any any of uh, any of the tracks that that you want to and that's a feature they carried on into the BR800 it's quite potentially would have been quite useful I never knew about it um, and then there's uh, the, the option to edit the um, the the uh, the effect patch uh, you've got user effect patches and song effect patches the user effect patches are available in any song and the song effect patches are available for the for the in individual song so you've got amplifier speaker emulation noise suppression F fx and delay that you can edit and um i never really investigated any of these um this is the um amplifier and oh uh, where, where's the cursor? Where's the cursor button? That one. Um, you can choose a different 
type of, of, of amplifier and so on. Quite a lot of the things that are in this are also available in the BR800, but far more and in, in far more detail in the BR800. I always assumed that Brian May's tone was impossible for me to get because I didn't have a red special with its rather unusual pickup configuration. And I'm sure that that is part of it, but I've got a feeling that the actual, you know, effects chain is is more simple than I've been I've been working on. I stumbled across that tone as a result of pushing the guitar through the micro BR, um, but I, I don't think that's good enough reason for me to carry on using the micro BR. I, I've got a feeling I can probably get that tone um, or get closer. To the to the Brian May tone on the the BR800, and now I feel inspired to dig out my 1967 sixpence, and um, and have another go. Um, right, that's enough nonsense from me. So uh, look after yourself. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.